Hey there guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to basically use a UI table view cell and give it insets, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to inset a UI table view cell. It's gonna be super easy, super quick, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project, single view app, and I'm gonna call this table view insets, table view cell insets. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is create your project and leave a like and subscribe, okay? So go ahead and subscribe just so I can teach you Swift this year, right? It's 2019 and you're gonna learn Swift very well. All right, next thing we're gonna do is go into our viewcontroller.swift and zoom in a bit so I can you can see that code. And then what I want you to do is I want you to, instead of subclassing UI view controller, subclass UI table view controller. Now, before this is gonna work, what we have to do is we have to set up our application from the app delegate. It's super simple and I'll show you how to do it right now. Go to your app delegate, get rid of this comment in did finish launching with options. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just say window is equal to UI window and then window question mark dot make key invisible and then window question mark dot root view controller is equal to view controller with a capital V and no UI, just view controller like that, okay? You can get those three lines in there and then hop back to viewcontroller.swift and we don't have to worry about the app delegate the entire video, okay? We're now set up to use our UI table view controller. Let's go ahead and give it a background color of, of dot cyan or red or whatever you wanna give it just so we know everything's working, okay? Now, while that's compiling, this is the documentation on UI table view cell, the visual representation of a single row in a table view. You can see we have things on here like cell content, content only with accessory view and edit mode, all right? So you can put in edit things, just made a video on that like two videos ago, how to insert rows and delete rows. I show you how to do edit and delete and stuff. Don't worry about that. What we're gonna worry about is insetting our content view, okay? So I tried compiling it to my phone, it looks like. I wanna compile it to the XR simulator. And again, while that's compiling, here's our documentation. Go ahead and subscribe. And then now what we're gonna do is we are going to say number of items, sorry, number of rows in section. What we're gonna to wanna to do here is return items.count. We haven't declared our items, and I'm sure you've worked with table views before if you're watching this video. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna declare some items up here and just kind of breeze through these methods until we get to the table view cell, okay? So I'm going a little fast until then, and then I'll slow down and explain it. Okay, so let's say file private let items, and then we're gonna say this is of type string, and this is gonna be an array type array string, this is gonna be an array that includes some strings, okay? We have our background color there, which is awesome. And we're gonna just say like, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> just kidding. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to say, uh, check out my courses if you want, you don't have to, but I'm obviously gonna say that. And last but not least, watch my vlogs on my other channel. Okay, so put whatever you want in there. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna return the items.count, okay? You'll see we have all these lines, right? Now, to better understand how many items we have, let's just go ahead and get some cell data in there before anything. So what I want you to do is type in register, and then let's say table view.register, and then go ahead and select this first one. And we're gonna say UI table view cell.self, for cell you use identifier, we're just gonna say cell like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is say cell for item at, cell for row at, and implement this method. Again, I assume you have experience with table views. If you don't, go ahead and search on my channel for some beginner Swift or go to the beginner Swift playlist where I go through slow videos on how to do these things, okay? But this is more advanced. I wanna show you more on UI table view cells in this video, not table view. We're just kinda getting it set up. Like I would've even had a starter project, but I hate starter projects in other people's videos. I hate downloading it. it just feels weird. Okay, so in our cell for row at, let's DQ our cell by saying let cell is equal to table view dot DQ reusable cell with identifier. And we're just gonna say cell again. Make sure these two strings match or it's gonna crash. For index path, we're gonna say index path with a lowercase i because we're getting that from the method. Again, you probably have experience with this. Let's go ahead and return the cell and then let's put some text in the cell by saying cell dot text label with a question mark dot text is equal to items at index path dot row. And then that's good, okay? I haven't gone this fast in my videos. If you're looking for short, like slower videos, I'm. I didn't want to activate, sorry. I, I go way slower in most of my videos, okay? At least before this video. So yeah, you're gonna see your items there, okay? We now get rid of the background color that's red, if you want. And then now what we wanna do is we just wanna return a height for these so that we can get them a little bit more visible so that when we add the inset, it'll be a little bit more clear on what's going on, okay? So we're gonna say height for row at, and we're just gonna return 100, and then that should be good, okay? 
So what I want you to do now is create a custom cell. We're going to do this above the view controller. Ideally, you want to put this in a separate file, but again, this is a tutorial and I just want to show you how to do this really quick. So I'm not going to put it in a separate file. In my courses, I would go and put it in a separate file though. Okay. If you're looking for how to organize your code, well, I do that in my courses. Okay. So we're going to say class and we're just going to say custom cell. And of course it's going to be of type UI table view cell. Okay. So we're almost to the point where I'm going to slow down a bit and talk about this. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to say, Hmm, if I can remember, we're going to say init and then we're going to say super dot init. And then we're going to bam, bam, bam. We're going to say style tab for reuse identifier, just pass in reuse identifier. Okay. So that's good there. Let me expand this so you can see it a bit and we're good there. Okay. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to try and compile this and it's going to crash. Okay. It's going to crash because we haven't implemented the required initializer. Go ahead and implement that. Pause it. If you didn't get that pop-up and copy that in there. Okay. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and copy the title of this custom cell and go into our line 33 table view register and replace it with custom cell instead of UI table view cell. We're now registering our custom cell, but we're not yet using it inside of our cell for row app method. Let's go ahead and dequeue the reusable cell and then say as, and we'll say custom cell. What this is doing, if you don't understand how to, how to use custom cells in table views yet, which is very likely this, this is going to be titled something around custom table view cells. If you don't understand it, basically, if you want to use a custom cell, all you have to do is register the custom cell and then cast your cell as that cell. And that's how you have access to this class. And now you're using this class instead of a default UI table view cell. Okay. Now, if you're still confused, just keep going and I will show you how we can modify it. Okay. So what I want to do is say cell dot content view dot background color. Okay. Not cell. I meant to say self dot content view dot background color is equal to dot cyan. And then I'm just going to say self dot background color is equal to dot red. Okay. So we have two colors here and this will assist us in kind of understanding our inset a bit because the two should kind of separate once we get an inset in there. And if it doesn't, then I guess wrong. All right. So we're good there and it booted up. You can see that. Okay. There you go. You can see it. Okay. So let's go ahead and inset it. Okay. This is the whole part of this video. I'm going to explain this part a little bit more. It's still going to be fast, but I'm going to explain it a bit more. It's pretty self-explanatory though. Okay. We're going to say, uh, layout subviews, override funk layout subviews, and then say super dot layout subviews, and then just say self dot content view dot frame and read what content view says. It says returns a content view of, okay, what the freak? Um, if, say content view. Okay. Well, it used to say here, maybe if we go into cell, we can get the right description. Cell dot content view. Wow. They, did they really update that or something? Maybe that's only in collection views. Basically, it says that it's the con it's the view in which you're supposed to add your uh, supplementary, no, your uh, child's, basically your custom views, right? If you want to make the UI table view cell look awesome, add in two labels, five buttons, you know what I mean? You're supposed to add it to the content view, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So let's go back up here and talk about layout subviews. Let's say self.contentView.frame. And what do we want to do? We want to inset it. So what better way than to wait for the subviews to lay out and then just say self.contentView.frame is equal to self.contentView.frame. You're like, wait, what? That's the same thing. But what I'm going to do is inset it, okay? So we're going to say self.contentView.frame.inset by UI edge insets adjust the rectangle by the given edge insets. UI edge insets, these tips and tricks that you didn't know of. Hit 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all right? And we're good to go. I just put 10 in all those. That should inset our custom cell, all right? So I hope you made it this far. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Come on, you can load. Come on, you can do it. All right, and you can see it's kind of jacked up. But what we can do what the freak? Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks right. It's just that the text label also is kind of messing things up. Okay. So what I want you to do is I want you to say self dot text label dot background color is equal to dot clear. Go ahead and recompile your application and let's give it a look. And if this isn't working, then I need to improvise a bit and see what's going on because I expect this to work well. Okay. All right, and you can see that it looks great. We've now inset it. You can go ahead and inset the left by like 30 and the right by like, let's say five. And if you wanted it to be inset like that, and you can see that it's gonna work exactly how you'd expect it to. It'd be inset 30 and only five, right? 
Let's go ahead and test it out one more time. All right, and I think you get the point, all right? You can inset the top something like 40 if you even wanted to and have it inset like that. All right, compile, 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 comp 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 compile, please. All right, compile. All right, let's go compile. All right, and we're good. Okay, so you can see that depending on the content view inset, you can really change how your content, your cell looks like, all right? Obviously, this is gonna throw it off a bit because I inset it at 40, but you know what I mean, okay? You can feel free to mess around with this and really gain more of an understanding of how to use inset inside of your table view cells, all right? So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe and tweet me and leave a comment and just engage with my content because I'm trying to blow up this channel and teach everybody in the world Swift, all right? See you in the next video.